Hi, I'm Dr. Mike Heiser, scholar in residence at Faith Life. And I'd like to talk to you briefly today about my book, The Unseen Realm. The subtitle is Recovering the Supernatural Worldview of the Bible. Now, that might strike you as a little odd. You think, well, doesn't everybody think the Bible is a supernatural book? Well, sort of. But there's a lot more to the supernatural realm than angels and demons and the Trinity. Those sorts of things that Christians are used to embracing and thinking about. Now, the book itself is not a book about angels and demons. The supernatural worldview of the biblical writer is a lot wider than that. And so I have certain goals uh, for the reader with respect to the wideness and the variety and really the strangeness of what a biblical writer thought about the supernatural world. First, I want readers to have the Israelite in their head when they read their Old Testament. And I want them to have a first century Jew in their head when they read the New Testament. I want the ancient person in your head. That's context when it really comes right down to it. Now, we're sort of trained to think that the right context for interpreting scripture is the history of Christianity. Our traditions, we tend to filter the Bible through the traditions that have been handed down to us about the Bible. That isn't the way a biblical writer would have thought or an original biblical reader would have thought. I like to use the illustration of a small group Bible study. If we had someone from 1500 BC or the first century AD in our small group Bible study, when you go around the room and you get to that guy or that woman and you say, hey, what do you think this passage means? Their answer is going to be dramatically different than anyone else is in the room. And it's pretty simple why. They're from another time and place. We are modern. They are not. So I want the reader to have the biblical person in their head, the biblical worldview. You say, well, why is that important? Well, it really moves us to the second thing I want to accomplish with the book. And that is, I want the book to confront the reader with a very simple question, but a pretty profound one. And that is, how much about what a biblical writer and a biblical reader in the original context, how much of what they believed about the unseen world do I really believe? Stated negatively, how much of what a biblical writer believed about the supernatural world do I feel free dismissing and still not feel hypocritical when I talk about biblical authority? There's a dramatic disconnect between what a biblical writer was thinking and what we think about certain things in scripture. I'll give you an example, the gods. Today we think of the gods of the Old Testament as things like too much money or having lots of money or maybe having more than one car or having a second house or watching too much football on Sunday. We abstract the idea of the gods. That is not what a biblical person would have thought. The gods to the biblical writers were real. They were real entities and they were a real threat. Spiritual warfare, again, is not some sort of modern uh, charismatic idea like we usually associate it. It has deep roots in the Old Testament. The last thing I want to get across is that the way scholars talk about scripture and what you hear in church about the Bible are really widely disconnected. In the unseen realm, I'm trying to take high peer-reviewed biblical scholarship about lots of things, but with a particular eye to the unseen supernatural world, and make that scholarship digestible or decipherable to the normal person. There's a tremendous amount of payoff to having the biblical writer in our head, being able to sort of tap into the original context, the primary sources of the world of the Bible as we read scripture. And so in the unseen realm, nothing you'll read is contrived. It's not just Mike making something up. It's all peer reviewed. It's high scholarship, but it's done in a very readable and in some cases entertaining fashion. So check it out. Go to theunseenrealm.com to watch the trailer or go up to Amazon and read the reviews. And I know what you're thinking. Everyone says their book is different. Everyone says their book is going to change the way people think. Go read the reviews. You'll find out that in the case of the unseen realm, that claim is actually true.